Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Brando here. Um, I just wanted to give everybody a quick uh, rundown of how I do my uh, eBay plain white envelope cards. Um, there are a lot of videos on YouTube and whatnot that I learned from on how to do these. Um, really, it was just kind of trial and error of how to uh, send these out and get the packaging right. There's some information I've found on YouTube that was just kind of like either wrong or kind of vague. And also eBay's description of how to actually send these cards is also very vague. So uh, I just wanted to real quick give a rundown. Um, so we're going to go over to the card cam over here. And I'm just going to show you how I send all of my cards. Um, I never have an issue uh, sending them this way. Uh haven't had any lost, haven't had any uh, late, anything like that. Never had one returned. Um, there are just a couple requirements that you need to meet and make sure you're staying within the boundary of for this shipping method. Um, but other than that, as long as you meet those requirements, uh, you're totally fine shipping this way. You can cut down your cost on shipping. You don't have to sell send everything in a bubble envelope um, costing for an excess of $4 every time you ship a cart. Uh, this way you can sell stuff that's cheaper. You don't have to uh, be stuck with that high shipping cost. So uh, let's cut on over to that camera, and uh, I will give you a little rundown on how I do it. All right. So here we are at the card cam. I'm going to try to keep everything pretty stable. Um, so basically what I do uh, for every card is, first thing I do is I, of course, I print the shipping label. I'm not using real one, obviously. I don't want to show anybody's address, but here's what your shipping label is going to look like. It's going to print out on your full sheet of paper, however you print it. Um, it's going to have a QR code, a little bar, and then your address, your name, eBay name, etc. then the seller name. It's going to print out on a full sheet. It's going to have a border on it. You don't have to keep the whole border. Don't keep the whole border. Cut it down to size. Um, I use these little six by four envelopes uh, right here. They're a little bit thicker than like your super cheap ones, but they're still way cheaper than bubble envelopes tell you that much um you can tape this anywhere on this as long as the qr code is visible the barcode is visible and the addresses are visible you can tape right over them uh it doesn't matter you're not going to mess anything up the machine's going to scan it they're going to scan it type it in whatever they're going to do um does not matter how you tape it onto this i literally cover the whole thing in tape never have a problem and i'll show you that later um so we're gonna set that to the side for a second now for the card obviously you don't want your beautiful charizard damaged while you're shipping it so what i do is normal penny sleeves are fine um i prefer to send them these these sleeves that are a little bit thicker not everybody has these of course because some people are going to send sports cards and other stuff and they don't do pokemon so they don't have these thicker sleeves you can order these um, not specifically the pokemon ones but you can order some thicker ones like this or you can just order the pokemon ones like this um, so uh, first step is i use one of these my second step is i also get these off of amazon these cost me like nine dollars for 50 of them i think um so very very cheap on the cost breakdown it's just a little extra projection they're a medium firmness uh kind of a top loader um, i believe that they're just labeled as top loader i'll put a link in the description down below to these but basically they're just kind of a little card holder so what this allows me to do is card goes into this first I don't normally just jam it in there. I'm usually a little more gentle, but for the sake of the video, I just want the card in there. Get in there, Charizard. There we go. Second thing I do, um, just to give it a little more thickness in the middle of the envelope, I put in two random bulk cards. So I just take these. I have a lot of these Japanese bulk. So I put one in the front and one in the back. Make sure they're not on the sleeve as to damage the card. So one in the front, one in the back. Makes it just a little bit firmer so it doesn't bend as easy when it goes through the machine. Second thing, always, painter's tape. Uh, for the love of whatever you believe in, don't use regular tape on your top loaders. Doesn't matter if it's a regular top loader like this or one of these. Absolutely ruins it. Um, it'll leave residue. It's hard to get open. There's a risk of damaging the card. Use painter tapes. Peels right off. Stays on for the whole shipping process. I just tape over the top right there boom 
it is sealed. Don't have to do anything more to that. Um, now, personally, um, I do like to still put it in a team bag just in case this tape were to come off during transit. Um, I don't want the card going anywhere. I want it to stay completely safe. It also allows me to put my extra stuff in this. Not everybody's going to do this. Um, you don't have to. You can put this straight into the envelope. Um, and if you were going to do that, I'll go over it later. I put a little bit of tape on the inside, and I'll show you that too. And you can just tape your uh, tape your top loader, or even if you just do the card. Um, I've sent a couple with just the card, uh, with a couple of bolt cards taped around the ed outside of it, um, with the painter's tape. That's totally doable. Um, no issues there. But for me, um, I always do top loader, or I'm sorry, team bag. Uh, and then... didn't have everything out. Um, I put in my uh, labeling here just with my Instagram and some other information on it, a little thank you note. Then I throw in a sticker. And once again, totally just my thing. Totally unnecessary, but I like to do it. Those always stick to your hand. Then you're going to take your team bag, get it as tight as possible around everything on the inside. And bada bing. Um, what I do like to also do with the team bags is just cut the edge because sometimes air gets stuck in there and it makes the envelope a little bit thicker. Uh, the envelopes have to be less than a quarter inch thick um, and less than three ounces is your requirement for these. Uh, I forget exactly what the sizes are. Um, I'll put the link in the description as well for the exact requirements. But uh, I went and bought a very cheap calipers to measure my packages. You're never going to get over a quarter inch if you're only doing a couple cards. If you're doing like 20 cards, you're probably, you're going to get there. Um, and you might want to measure with a caliper before you send it out. But this, this will never, this absolutely, even though it seems like it's going to be thick, it's not a quarter inch. Uh, even with the tape, the envelope, everything, not a quarter inch. Uh, this entire thing right here with the envelope and the tape and uh, everything is also going to be under an ounce. So if you're sending one to five cards just about you're going to stay under an ounce don't worry about your weight uh you can get a cheap scale off of amazon as well uh and that will help you measure it out just in case you're worried i bought it just because i was worried next thing you're going to do you can take your envelope once again they're the six by four envelopes not the cheapest ones but they are still very cheap and you're going to take your regular tape i take a little tiny piece just a little strip right here. And I tape the edge of the team bag to the envelope as such. And what that does is it prevents it from shifting in the envelope. And it stays right in the middle because this, if the post office is doing this by machine, uh, the envelope is going to go through the machine. And what needs to be able to bend for that machine, from what I have heard from the post office, is the edges. That is your most important part. The, center, the middle isn't as important. It's also still flexible. It's not too stiff, which is another requirement for this uh, type of shipping is it can't be too stiff, which this is not. So here's what I do next. I go ahead, I, I do lick the envelope. I'll ASMR for you there. And seal it up. Flip her on over. You're going to take your label. Uh, you can put it, cut it perfectly to size if you want. I prefer to cut it a little bit smaller. Once again, you can tape right over everything. I'll turn that down. You're going to want to tape over the top and then over the sides. And I tape over the sides. And what this also does as a second benefit is it seals the edges of the envelope as well, the little flap. So you're not going to have anybody breaking into the envelope. Uh, you're not going to have the envelope popping open during shipping. Uh, and then you're going to do that for the bottom as well. That was a little sloppy, but it gets the point across. You're just going to flap it over like that. And you're going to flip it over. Um, I had little stickers, but I ran out that just said thank you. And I used to put those down at the bottom uh, here. But you're just going to want to seal the tip of that right there. Um, just a little bit of extra security. 
This package is not getting not gonna rip open at all, ever. Uh, what I also like to do is since I do it this way, you absolutely once again don't have to. This is just my preference. Um, but if I can find it. Oh, here it is. What I like to do is since the card is sealed in the middle and I can see it through the light, you can't on this camera, but you know exactly where the card is since it's in the middle and it's not going anywhere. I do like to put some little lines here. Sometimes I'll do this on the envelope instead of the tape and just put cut here. That way they don't have to struggle ripping this package open with all the tape and all that kind of stuff. It's totally doable. They can absolutely peel the tape off and I've done it before taping the wrong uh, label to the card. But uh, yeah, so easy as that. Then uh, you can go drop this in your local post office box, lot bada bing, you just toss it in and you're done. And there you go, you just saved over $3 on shipping doing the plain white envelope method. You can do this with a stamp, I believe. You can normal postage stamp it, write the address and whatnot. So if you're doing this not through eBay, uh, you can do it that way if you're doing sales through Instagram or whatever platform you are selling on. Uh, easy as that. It uh, takes no time, very little money. Um, you can kind of dress it up like I do, throw in a sticker, throw in your, uh, your branding and whatnot like I do. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope this answered any questions you have about plain white envelope shipping and helped you guys with any questions that you might have had about the method of shipping. I hope that this helps you guys increase your profits on eBay with uh, saving yourself on a little bit of shipping cost or helps you get more cards sold. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And you all have a great day.